Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Scents. Hope you're doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be going over with you guys four different fragrances. Three of them are great for high heat situations. You know, in the middle of summer, they're gonna be stunners. You can wear these in pretty much any situation. People are gonna love them. I'm also taking a look at Parfums de Marly Pegasus Exclusif. Not so much of a summer fragrance, but I just recently got my hands on it. So I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys kind of a quick condensed review on this one as well and let you know what I think about it. So let's jump into this, let's check these out. Now today's video is sponsored by MaxAroma.com, so a shout out to them, and there is a link in the description to their website. Max Aroma is a great discounter, they've got niche fragrances, they've got designer fragrances, and actually they are expanding quickly with the number of niche and indie brands that they cover. So if you're interested in either of those types of fragrances, either of those categories, make sure to check them out. And the warm weather fragrances I'm going over in this video, yeah, those are part of my Max Aroma pack, so I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. And I'm gonna be giving away this one right here to one of you guys. I didn't do a pack last month, but this month's pack, if anybody makes a purchase, 10% of that is going back to you guys in the form of a gift card that I'll give away next month. I make nothing off the sales of the packs. I give it all back to you. So, what should we do? I guess we should do Pegasus Exclusive first. If that's okay with you. I'll really quickly run through this. I'm not gonna do a normal full length review, otherwise this video is gonna be super long, but I wanna give you a good idea of how this one is. First up, a quick look at the presentation. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, and the size right here on the front. And the box has like a really slight squishy feeling to it. So it's really just the, the paper. Like there's a little give in the paper that's wrapped around the box, but if you feel it, it's got a little squash. On the top of the box, you've got the Parfums de Marly logo. On the back of the box, you have some information about the house along with the concentration, which is Parfum. Then on the bottom of the box, you have your badge code and your barcode. Your badge code printed in ink down in the corner, and it is 0410152. Box lifts up, like so. Your bottle sits down right in there. And here we've got the bottle. This is your typical Parfums de Marly style. I like the coloration of this one more than the original Pegasus. I didn't like the original Pegasus bottle coloration all that much. This one is nice. I like that matte sort of gray slash matte silver coloration. It's good. Got the name of the fragrance right there on the front. Cap clicks into place. And it is heavy, like everybody says. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you could use them as a weapon. Yeah, that's true. Let's go ahead and give this a couple sprays. There we go. And on the bottom of the bottle, you're gonna find your badge code, once again, in black ink. Oh, and I'm gonna share this with you guys really quickly. I've talked about this once in one previous video. I don't remember which video it is. But um, sometimes with certain bottles, you'll take the cap off. Like this one is really, really on there tight. So you'll take the cap off. And what will happen, this is not super common, just every once in a while, this will come off. The little uh, collar <laughs> that sits over the atomizer right here this will come off and it'll be lodged inside the cap and you can't really get your finger and pop it out. It's, it's really in there. So this is just a super fast pro tip. If that ever happens to you, if you have something like this, this is a, a strange little pin my wife got me. It says A-Tech on the side. It's got like a, a ruler and a bunch of other random little gadgets. It has this, okay? I think this is supposed to be like a bottle opener. That, that little hook right there, it is absolutely perfect to go up inside of a cap and pull the collar back out if it ever gets stuck in there. So when I found that out, I actually went through and each bottle that was like that in my collection, I fixed. And then the best part about it, you pull it out and then you turn it around like this and kind of stamp it back down where it's supposed to go. Great. Okay, I just wasted a ton of time talking about all that. Let me really quickly run through this fragrance. So if you wanna do this in just the simplest way possible, Pegasus Exclusive is Pegasus. If you take the opening, you do away with that kind of metallic, abrasive opening that, you know, some people don't really like, myself included, don't really like the opening of Pegasus. You take that, you do away with it, okay? You tone down the sweetness a little bit. You add in some woodiness, make it slightly darker. Pegasus Exclusive. And yeah, basically, Pegasus Exclusive is Pegasus. If you take the, <laughs> the Exclusive Accord from Leighton Exclusive and kind of just stick it on to Pegasus. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the quick version. Now we'll run through, I guess, a slightly more in-depth version of the review. 
So I'm gonna be telling you pretty much the same thing, just in more detail. It opens up pretty smooth, like I said, not as sweet, not as aggressive, not as metallic as the original Pegasus. You do still have heliotrope, you still have almond, they're just not quite as in your face. You have a little bit of freshness early on from bergamot, lavender, and geranium. They're not really super prominent, but they do provide a nice contrast to that almond and heliotrope right off the top. You also very quickly, very early on, get a spicy woody mix that kind of lays a base for all those other notes to play off of. And within maybe five to 10 minutes, you get this puff of vanilla that kind of wafts in and you occasionally pick that up, working along with those other notes that I just talked about. As the fragrance dries down, that almond, that heliotrope, it steps back. The woods, they come up, they become more prominent. The vanilla is still there, giving this nice sweetness. Again, a bit of a contrast to the darker woods and you have spiciness that pops in and out as it dries. What's interesting about this one is as it heads through the mid into the dry down, it very obviously does pick up that exclusive accord that I talked about before, but once you hit the far dry down, it starts to smell more like the original Pegasus. Now it is still, even at that point, slightly darker and a bit woodier and not quite as sweet as the original Pegasus, but it is very noticeably similar. So for me personally, which one do I prefer, the original Pegasus or Exclusive? For me, Exclusive, it is not close. Of all of the hyped Parfums de Marly fragrances, Pegasus, probably my least favorite, right above Cologne. I, I don't really like Cologne, but Pegasus is right there with it. This one though, I actually like. That woodiness that's in there, the toned down sweetness, that opening being redone and tweaked, all of those are improvements. Longevity 10 plus hours. With this one, I've gone to bed wearing the fragrance, woken up the next day and still been able to smell it. In terms of projection, more moderate. First hour, hour and a half, pretty good. After that, it sits closer to the skin. Seasons, fall or winter, daytime or nighttime, either. Leans a little bit more toward night. And you know, I'll go ahead and give away a decant of Pegasus exclusive also. So whoever wins the uh, prize pack for this, they'll get a decant of that and also the next three fragrances. I'm gonna talk about. All right, let's go over my bundle for this month. These are the three fragrances. Creed Aventus Cologne, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, O Intense, and Aqua de Jo Profundo. Now the idea here was to get three fragrances that you can wear in just about any situation during the spring and summer months when it starts to heat up. So all three of these are super easy to wear. Everybody is gonna like them. They're enormously versatile, big compliment pullers, and that's why they're all lumped together here. The winner of this will get three eight milliliter decants, one of each fragrance, and if you buy this, it is going for 50 bucks on Max Aroma. And again, link in the description to that. Aventus Cologne, of course, takes the Creed Aventus DNA and makes it a little bit better for warm weather. So this one is gonna be great during the day, great at the office. You can really dress this up, wear it formally if you wanted to as well, because it does have that Aventus versatility. It does not have that focus on smokiness like the original Creed Aventus does. It does have a birch note in here. It's just, that's not really the focal point of the dry down here. Instead, you're gonna get more musk and even a bit of vetiver that comes out and kind of melts with that birch. And again, the birch is not super smoky here. And also you're not gonna have that big pineapple opening with Creed Aventus Cologne. Instead, they've switched that out and they've made the focus on mandarin orange and ginger. So instead you get this really nice kind of poppy, bright citrus opening, smells great. Then we've got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. This one is, in my opinion, the best flanker of Light Blue Pour Homme that you can get right now, especially of the more modern releases. It's got grapefruit, sea notes, juniper, and amberwood as some of the notes in the fragrance. That amberwood gonna give you a more modern, masculine kind of dry down. It is super, super versatile, and the saltiness in that works really well. And then Aqua de Jo Profundo. It's Aqua de Jo. I mean, that's, that's really, that's all you gotta say, it's Aqua de Jo. It's got sea notes, it's got mineral notes, it has bergamot. That one, like I've said a number of times, takes Aqua de Jo and modernizes it once again, only this time with a, a slight green tinge. There's some rosemary in there, there's some cypress in there, it works perfectly. All three of these fragrances are fragrances that are made to be worn. These are fragrances that have a utility to them. They're not really fragrances that are uh, overly artistic or anything like that. These are just fragrances made to be appealing, made to be worn. And that's why all three of these are together. These are fragrances that I thought a lot of guys would just maybe want to you know, throw into their gym bag, throw into their car, whatever. I, I, I don't really suggest leaving a fragrance in your hot car, but you know, whatever, whatever you wanna do. 
But I thought that these would be ones that guys would want to keep and freshen up with throughout the day because these are the type of scents that you will never feel self-conscious wearing. So that's the bundle, that's Pegasus Exclusive. Let's talk about the giveaway. All you've gotta to do to be entered in the giveaway is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment below. Let me know in the comment, what is the fragrance you're looking forward to wearing most this summer? That's it, easy peasy. After about a week, I will pick a winner via random comment picker and post up on the community tab of my YouTube channel, who is one, and then just hit me up and I'll get you this and a decant of this. Again, thank you to Max Aroma for sponsoring the video. Link in the description to Max Aroma and also to this bundle. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.